up YouTube, welcome back to another Jigs' Views, the trailer trash era. Caravan of Love, still here baby. Jigs' Views? That's the fucking podcast you moron. It's Jigs' Reviews. How we doing? Are you all good? So, I was going to record this video yesterday and I thought, fuck it, I can't bother. I'm just going to watch two episodes of Star Wars. Yeah, I'm a geek. But um, I wish I had now because it's fucking raining. It's been raining all day and as I'm in this trailer trash era of living in a caravan at the moment, the fucking noise with the rain hitting the tin roof. God damn. So, little mic on today. Hopefully that will stop the sound being picked up of the rain on there. If not, unlucky. <laughs> Hopefully you can deal with it. Please carry on listening. So yeah, man, got a review today. Also, merch. T-shirts are here, Teesprings. Dicks and views and views. Awesome. So, I don't know about you guys, but I have got a savior. Every morning, I wake up and he's saving from the good Lord. Double espresso from my BLA. Need need a good coffee in the morning. Hate instant coffee. It's crap. So that leads me on today's review of today's little item. So I am a, not a very big fan of um, transport transferring packaged items into pots because it looks nice. It's just added work. Why would you want to do that for a thing? So two things I don't mind doing it for: sugar. Sugar pot's easier because it just sits there on the side. Uh, everything else can go in the cupboard, can't it? You know, you don't have to have, you know, some people like their pasta on show, but fuck all that shit. But the other thing is rice, because you know, you open a packet of rice, it never quite so open properly, and half the shit ends up on the floor, which is really fucking annoying. Little, it's the little things in life like that that are really annoying, a bit like when you're brushing your teeth and a bit of, bit of water just drips down your arm slowly. <sighs> yeah, it's the little things that annoy me. So, obviously, Got your coffee it's in the bag. They do come with a little metal clip on. As you see, this one actually broke off within the first time you're opening this. So today's item is coffee bag clip. I went for this one. It's got an added coffee scoop for one tablespoon of coffee. So, got this off the internet. I'll read what it says on the box. So Solid beach, so there's a beech wood. Coffee clip and scoop. It's um, made from real wood. Who would have thought, eh? Made from real wood, that's amazing, that. So, yep, the Urban Element Limited, a small group of international designers, blah, 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 blah. Love designing good things. That's pretty much all it says in here, to be honest. And where to buy it? All the places Amazon, Etsy, YouTube, you know, normal places you can buy these things nowadays. So yeah, how exciting. Nice and easy to use, I've found. Um, obviously, the top of this can fold up quite a few times over. Slides over the top. Keeps it airtight. Stops your coffee going dried out. Um, I've been pretty happy with it, to be fair. Having this on is pretty cool as well. Uh, especially with this size, I believe this is a double espresso. Um, or single, depending on how high you fill it up. But literally, w one scoop of this fills it up the inside. I'm not, if you're, I'm not sure if you've ever seen any of these before. So, uh, see, Italian coffee espresso maker. This bit comes off. Fill the water to just below this point here. And then this is the part where you put the coffee in. So literally, one of these was perfect for filling up that. If it's, it's the perfect amount, on, screw on, and put that on your gas hob or electric hob, whatever you have. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Um, obviously made of wood, obviously there is the issue of it perishing, I suppose, over time. Um, I haven't washed this yet because I don't know, it's not really something, unless I dropped it on the floor or in something, that's really something I'd really think I'd need to wash really because obviously the coffee in there is, the coffee in here is dry apart from the sort of natural moisture it has. 
um, and you put it in and it's fine I mean obviously you can wash things if you like obviously people are washing things a lot at the moment um, but it does say I see don't put it in a dishwasher obviously you dry this thing let it dry naturally and um, it does the job really but because before I found this I would tend to I use a lot of these I think I've got these for like a big bag of these from Ikea they're cheap as fuck but I do find with these sometimes these even damage the bag a little bit um, you can also get metal clip ones as well and the metal clip ones are really bad they they damage most things to be fair they are quite um, quite sharp so uh, the bag starts cutting into the bag coffee spills out you don't want that no good bad times so I'm gonna give this a yay 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 I believe it was between five and six pound um, which some people might look at as quite pricey um, you know it's, 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 it's made out of good wood uh, it's a good design so I mean they're not gonna sell it for nothing are they they need to make some money so uh, I, I think it's a good price you know it's good it's made very well so it should be quite long lasting as long as you look after it don't do anything crazy like use it to do an egg and spoon race or something crazy like that whatever I don't know so yeah it's a thumbs up from me it's a little short one this week as there wasn't really much to say about that really but uh, I got it thought I'd uh, put it out there and give it a review put might put some of you guys on to buying something like this if you like that sort that sort of thing coffee fanatics like I am so yeah brilliant if you, uh, if you like the video please give it a like uh, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos check out my website www.jigsviewsandreviews.com where you can find everything on there from the teesprings to patreon to my podcast which is going to have to do with reviews the podcast is views me ranting chatting shit about aerodaring which is every week so hopefully i will hear or see from you somehow keep in contact let me know if there's anything that you think is worth reviewing and I will see you next week for something new. Peace out, homies.